with Alice Cronenberg this morning from the Champaign-Urbana Public Health District. And real quickly, STDs, STI, same thing, right? Well, um, there's, you know, two different schools of thought. Um, one is a disease and one is an infection, so that's the I and the D. Um, so typically people will say STI, that's more common these days. But, more yeah. modern way of referring to it, right? Uh, yes, because not everything is a disease, so that kind of has more of a negative connotation, but, you know. It's whatever people use. You know, I, I tend to see what people are saying and go with that one. Okay, <laughs> all right, very good. Uh, so we want to talk a little bit about STIs or STDs mm -hmm. um, during pregnancy. And so how can uh, how can it affect the, the child if a mother has an STI? Um, so if a woman is infected with an STI, such as like chlamydia or gonorrhea, that could be transmitted to the unborn baby. Um, so we always encourage that, you know, a woman get into prenatal care. And when she goes into that, um, they do screening at the first trimester for STDs, um, and then should something come up, they'll do follow-up screening later. And if that's found and it doesn't go treated, there are some things, we're looking at some of the uh, effects that those can cause, and those are some pretty serious problems for the child. Yes. Yes, um, so we always encourage, you know, if somebody does find that they are positive for an STI, um, that they get treatment, and that includes completion of the treatment, mm -hmm. so... Um, so is treatment then safe for pregnant women? Yes. Um, there will be, uh, you know, changes um, to the medications that are offered. You know, some medications are going to be safer for a woman than others. Um, so it's important to uh, always be honest with your doctor about, you know, I am pregnant right now, so they know to give you the right medication. Sure. Now, uh, is every woman tested for an STI or STD while they're pregnant? If she's in prenatal care, um, if she's not, then that's not necessarily um, going to be the case. Um, it's always great to ask your doctor what you're being tested for. Sure. A lot of people assume, a lot of people say, you know, oh, I'm getting tested for everything, and that's just that's just not possible, you know, so. Uh, are there any STIs or STDs that are more dangerous than others to the child? Um, I would say probably like syphilis or HIV. Um, those are gonna be pretty, you know, significant to a child um, should, you know, it be contracted um, from the mother. So if a woman has HIV, for example, there will sure. be um, certain modifications that they'll uh, put in place um, to ensure that uh, the chances of transmission to the child are decreased significantly um, and make, you know, make sure that the child is tested and all of that. What are some of those modifications? Um, so it would be if a woman is HIV positive, uh, they would, one, make sure that she's on antiretrovirals, so making sure that um, she's on medication that will reduce the amount of virus that's in her system. Okay. Um, and that, that medication will also increase the amount of CD4 cells in the system. So that's um, increasing uh, the amount of white blood cells um, protecting the body. Um, by decreasing the amount of virus in the system, there's less chance it'll be transmitted to the child. Um, additionally, uh, they won't recommend breastfeeding, and breastfeeding is, you know, obviously um, very, very much so recommended by physicians. But if a woman is HIV positive, uh, HIV can be transmitted through the breast milk, so they avoid that. Um, and then they would do a C-section. Okay. As well. So modifying delivery yeah. then as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think uh, pregnant women need to be aware of? as far as STDs go, and do you think there's enough information out there for them about this? Um, I, I hope so. Um, it kind of depends on the physician that they're working with, um, but they just need to be aware of, like, you know, obviously um, what the recommended screening process is um, and completion of any sort of treatment that's being recommended. So a lot of people, and we've, you know, this is the case with all antibiotics. If you're given an antibiotic, you finish the antibiotic, you know, right. so things like that. Okay, all right, Alice, thanks so much. We'll have more with you coming up Thank in just you. a little bit. But up next, a young boy was just trying to play at school when he thought he picked up a balloon. What he picked up instead is having him tested for STDs. Oh.